the average of all odd numbers up to 100 is now this i think is a set right what is the confusion the average of all odd numbers up to 100 average of all odd numbers up to 100 options are 49 49.5 50 51 see so understand all odd numbers up to 100 what are the odd numbers up to 100 starting from 1 1 3 5 7 9 11 and so on right then uh, you know 19 is the last odd number less than 100 okay so 1 to 99 and you know that how many such numbers would be there 50 numbers see in the first 100 numbers 50 are odd and 50 are even 50 odd 50 odd and 50 even numbers right okay this is difficult 50 odd 50 odd and 50 even so there will be 50 right 1 3 5 7 and, and so on up to 99 you also know that finding out the average of consecutive numbers is very very easy you actually don't have to do 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 and so on up to 99 divided by 50 that is not needed we have discussed this in the uh, case of consecutive numbers right for consecutive numbers you very well know this right for consecutive numbers the average is the middle number yes or no we have discussed this uh, in our discussions for consecutive numbers in number system right for consecutive numbers the average is a middle number now if you see these numbers are consecutive numbers numbers all these are when they are like in some arithmetic progression anywhere you find that the numbers are in arithmetic progression the average is always the middle number right so one three five seven nine all these are in a uh, rhythm right in a progression so average will be the middle number but the point here is since there are 50 odd numbers there is no i mean there is no unique middle number available see there are 50, if there are 49 numbers i can say that the 25th number is the middle one or if there are only th let's say five numbers so the third number is a unique one uh, middle one if there are nine numbers the fifth number is the middle one but in this case what happens since there are even number of numbers there is no single middle number there will be two middle numbers right there will be two middle numbers and i'm sure you would know that those two middle numbers would be 49 and 51 yes or no see 49 will be the 25th odd number 51 will be the 26th odd number and then there are total 50 odd numbers so in the first 25 odd numbers the last one is 49 in the second 25 odd numbers the first one is 51 and these two will form the pair of those two middle numbers right and what happens when there is no single middle number when there is no unique middle number we have to take the average of these two middle numbers so 49 plus 51 divided by 2 which is 50 what comes i mean you will not write this in the exam what comes between 49 and 51 what comes between 49 it is 50 so your answer to this question option 350